It is fall. Is it, is it, it is officially fall? fall? It's right? Well, it's fall. Cooler outside. Yeah. We're, yeah. Southern California, <laughs> it it's not that nice. cold. <laughs> but I do have a sweatshirt cold. on. So dark colors are coming, right? Mm -hmm. With those kind of whiny, burgundy colors that we love so much yeah. for this time of year. Um, you have an interesting inspiration though. <laughs> you just told me. Um, wine, which I'm a very big fan of, but you called it moldy wine? Not moldy, mold. Oh! <laughs> Mold. I was like, what? Where? Where is moldy wine? Google it. A, you warm the wine and you put orange slices and cranberries. I'm not sure exactly Ooh. what it is, right? Yeah. Mold wine. Okay. We, I need that drink, <laughs> and I need to see these nails. Yes. Can you help us out? Absolutely. Awesome. Let's get started. All right, you guys, so I know I say this every time, but today's demo I'm super excited for because I'm gonna show you a bunch of different things, but they're gonna be simple things that you can do, but it's gonna make the nails just absolutely gorgeous. So today we're gonna use our liquid art, but we're not just gonna use it with our clear gel, we're actually gonna use it with our concealer gels as well and give the nail just a really deep dimensional look. It's gonna look almost like a jewel in the nail. And then on top of that, we're gonna use our Mission Control gel paints, and I'm gonna show you how to tint them so you can use one color, but different levels of that color. So let's get going on our demo today. I'm gonna to start again, just like always, push back your cuticles, and I'm just gonna do two nails for you today. So push back your cuticles, come in with your medium grit arbor band. We're gonna work right up around that cuticle. Remove the shine from the nail and then follow through the rest of the body of the nail. When I'm working through to remove the shine, I'm going from corner to corner, so kind of diagonal, down the nail this way. Okay, same thing on the second nail, up around that cuticle area, and then diagonal across the nail. And that's all we need to do. I'm gonna use my manicure brush, dust off the nail, come in with our swipe, take a pump of that on our manicure brush, dust off the nail, get all the germs, all the bacteria, all the oils off the nail so we have a nice clean dry surface to work on. Just like always, we're gonna use our protein bond. Two coats of this will work fantastic for your nails. Keep everything adhered to the nails so you won't have any lifting issues. It's just gonna give you a really good bond. Okay, we did one coat. Go all the way through all 10 nails and then come back and do your second coat. And remember when you're using the protein bond, you wanna use just a little bit at a time. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna lift my brush out, tap off the extra, and then come into my nail. That way I'm not gonna flood the protein bond up into the cuticle or anywhere else that I don't want to have it. Okay, I'm going to put one form on at a time. This way when I'm working on my practice hand, they'll stay. But as you're working on an actual client, you can go ahead and put all your forms on at once if you want to. I'm going to press my two silver tabs together as evenly as I can. On a real person, you can go ahead and open up that perforated tab up top. On my practice hand, I'm just gonna leave that closed. I'm gonna slide that right up underneath my nail and just pinch it a little bit more to the extension. Okay. We're gonna start with our base gel and I'm gonna create an extension on this nail. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of my base. Now, if you can see, I have product on one side of my brush, but not both sides of my brush. I'm actually gonna touch the side that doesn't have product, kind of at an angle down to the form, and I'm just gonna roll that product off across the nail. And then I'm gonna just tuck it right up into those corners. So now at this point, I'm not trying to create any thickness, I'm just trying to create an extension, okay? So basically, if you were, like if you were gluing a tip on. Okay, I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more same thing, roll that product off onto the form. Just connecting it to that natural nail. Now I'm gonna create, I think we're gonna do a coffin-shaped nail today. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wipe out that gel out of my brush. I'm gonna use the edge of my brush and I'm gonna come in and clean up my sides, taper that out to the point of my form. Okay, once I have that where I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and put that into the light and just freeze it into place. We're just gonna do a quick 30 second freeze. I'm gonna go ahead and put my form onto my second finger so we can get our extension done on the second one and then we'll work both of the nails at the same time. So same thing, pinch my two silver tabs together, pop my form up underneath, secure it down on the sides and pinch together. Same thing, we're gonna pick up a little bit of our base gel. I'm gonna start that at one side, roll it across the nail and then just tuck up into our sides. As you can see, I'm kind of turning my brush on this side when I get to those corners there. That way I'm using just the edge of my brush, not the whole wedge of the brush. You're gonna be able to get that product really nice and tight up into those corners and then just blend it forward. Wipe out your brush and then come back in and clean up your sides. Make those nice and tight into our coffin shape now. I'm gonna turn my brush around. There's just one little area right up in that corner I wanna make sure I tuck my product up into. So I'm just gonna draw that right up into the corner. Same thing over here, just right up into that corner. Okay, again, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze this one into place. Now I'm gonna use my base gel to cover the whole surface of the nail. What this is gonna do is gonna give us a nice base layer so that all of our product adheres really well and then our next layer is gonna grab right onto our base. I'm also gonna use a little bit more of my base right at that seam just to make sure everything is connected. So we don't have a whole lot of product right at that seam, so I just wanna make sure that when I take my form off, it's not gonna break off my extension. Same thing on our second nail. Brush your product all the way through the cuticle down to the free edge. And again, making sure that we don't have any disconnects right at our seam. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this back into the light for one more 30 second here. And I'm gonna take my forms off. So I wanna make sure to either pinch them from underneath to release from the gel, or you can use your magic wand, you can use your little spatula. Just make sure that that product has released from the, um, has released from the form before you try to take that off, because otherwise you're gonna end up pulling your extension off and then you have to reattach. So we're gonna take that one off, same thing here. And you'll be able to see when it releases. And it'll pop away. And I'm just gonna wiggle that and take that form off. Okay. So our nails are ready to go for our next step, but I wanna show you now how to mix your liquid art with your gels. So we're gonna take our mixing tile, our spatula, our clear sculptor and our concealer pink and today i'm going to be using our red liquid art and our blue liquid art i'm going to start with my clear sculptor and i'm going to squeeze out a good amount of that onto my mixing tile so you want to mix as much as what you're going to need for all of your nails so if you're doing a full set you're definitely going to need more than what i'm mixing today okay. And don't worry, if you, if you run out of product, you can always mix a little bit more because I'm gonna tell you what our ratio is gonna be, so you're just gonna follow that same ratio. Okay. Next thing we're gonna use is our concealer pink. I'm gonna squeeze out about the same amount of that. All right. So what I'm gonna to use today is one drop of red and one drop of blue. Now you'll notice that one of my bottles has the dropper in it and the other doesn't. When you're using these, you always wanna make sure that you're storing your 
liquid art with the cap on, not with the dropper in. What's gonna happen is if you leave the dropper in, your liquid art is actually gonna evaporate. So always make sure that you close it when you're done and seal it up really well. Okay. So again, we're gonna start with one drop of red in each. So one drop in our clear, one drop in our pink. And then I'm gonna come in with one drop of blue in our clear, one drop of blue in our pink. I'm going to put the rest of that back in there, close up my cap, and to clean out your eyedroppers so they don't make a mess all over the place, I like to just take a little bit of our polish remover into a dappen dish, and then just squeeze up some of that polish remover and rinse out your dropper. That way, again, you're not going to make a mess all over. So a quick and easy way of cleaning up. Okay, let's come back to our mixing. So again, this was my clear. And if you, if you are mixing and you feel like you need a little bit more of one color or the other, go ahead and add a second drop. Just don't try to add too much all at once because otherwise your gel is gonna start to get too liquidy. So really make sure that you're doing just one drop at a time. Really mix these up well. Now if you can see, do you see how it still looks kind of streaky in there? You want to make sure to just keep on mixing until you get everything really well, really good mixed up so that you don't see those streaky lines anymore. And if you do feel like your gel is running and you're using the sculpting gels, definitely add some more gel to it because if it's running, you probably added a little too much liquid art. So thicken it back up with your gel. Okay, so we're getting to the point now where it's looking nice and mixed, really well blended. You don't see those streaky lines in there anymore. Okay, I am going to scoop this all back up together and that is gonna be our clear. I'm gonna wipe off that extra from my spatula. Let's go ahead and mix our pink. Same thing. Mix it really well until you don't see those streaky lines anymore. And I'm just kind of spreading this back and forth. You don't want to bounce your pat or bounce your um, spatula because that's going to put air bubbles in it. By mixing and spreading like this, it's going to wipe out all of those air bubbles and keep it nice and smooth. I think we've got our product really well mixed. Okay, again, I'm gonna scrape that all up together. And that is our pink. So we're gonna do one nail at a time at this point, just to make sure that I don't confuse you. Okay, so on this nail, we're just gonna use our clear. So we're gonna take our clear mix, and I'm just gonna cap this whole nail from cuticle to free edge. I'm gonna drop that right down at my cuticle area and using my brush in small circular motions, I'm gonna work that right up into the cuticle and then just pull forward down the nail. Okay, I'm floating my brush over the top. I'm not pressing into it, just floating down the nail. Okay, if you feel like you need to add a little bit more, and pick up a little bit more. Drop that down again, floating over the top of my product. And then down the extension. Okay, now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and just freeze this really just for a quick 10 seconds. This way, if I feel like I need to add any more product on top of it, I can go ahead and add without that base layer um, or without that bottom layer uh, running for me. Okay, so it's just gonna set it into place. We're gonna come back, I'm gonna take a look. It definitely looks like it could use a little bit more right through my arch area. So again, I'm gonna pick up a little bit more, drop that in my arch, and then just start to blend that out. 
Now remember with this second level, with the second layer, you don't have to worry about coating the whole thing. Just put your product right where you need it. And then I'm just gonna kind of let this level out just a little bit on its own. Just kind of help to guide it into place. So now I feel like I've got product exactly where I need it and I've built up my arch. So this one, let's get it into the light and we'll do a full 60 second cure on it. Again, when you're working on a real person with both hands, put this one into the light while you're working on the other hand. So that was our first one just as a solid clear. Okay, so our second nail now, I'm gonna start with our concealer pink mixture. So this one, I'm gonna do just a thin layer of this. And because we mixed it with the concealer pink, what's gonna happen is it's gonna give us a nice opaque base. And then we're gonna put some Mylar in there. And then it's gonna give us that really deep dimension. All right, so just like we were using our clear, I just started at my cuticle area, working my product from cuticle all the way through the free edge. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more. and follow through. Now again, with this layer, we're not trying to build up a whole lot of thickness just yet. We're just gonna give us a nice base layer and a nice opaque layer. So if you see any areas where you can still maybe see through a little bit, go ahead and add a little bit more product. I'm gonna tuck a little bit more right here through my side. Just so we get a nice even layer. I'm gonna use just the tip of my brush here just to come in, get a little bit closer around my cuticle area. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that into the light. Again, you can freeze it for 10 to 30 seconds. Now in this layer, I'm gonna use our, we're gonna use our Lemonade Icy. You can use whatever, your, whatever Mylars you like, whatever's gonna go with the colors that you mix. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this out. Just take a pinch of it. I'm just gonna kinda of run it through my fingers so that it breaks it up into smaller pieces. It'll be much easier for me to pick up. So I'm gonna take just another thin layer now. I'm just gonna kinda of brush this on. Again, I'm not trying to build up a lot of thickness. I'm just giving myself a layer for my Mylars to grab onto. So again, you can see brushing just a thin layer. Okay, I'm going to wipe out that extra product out of my brush. I'm just going to use my brush to pick up whatever pieces I think are going to fit on this nail. You can use the larger pieces or smaller pieces, whatever, whatever kind of design you want to come up with. And don't worry if it feels like any of your pieces of mylar are poking up. It's not a big deal. We're going to cap this with our next layer. And then even if things are still poking up, don't worry, we're gonna file it off and that's still gonna give you a different kind of a dimension. So just pop your, pop your Mylars on there wherever you want. I like more Mylar in this design. If you like less, just use less. And you can always mix your Mylars. So if you want even more dimension, grab two different colors, grab three colors. Just depends on what kind of a design you and your clients wanna create. I'm really filling this, all of my different spaces. I think one more little piece right there. All right, I'm just gonna tuck a few of them down there a little bit if I can. But again, if they're sticking up a little bit, don't worry about it. Okay, again, we're gonna go ahead and freeze this into place. Another 10 to 30 seconds. So now we're gonna come back again with our clear mix. So we started with our concealer pink mix. Now we're gonna go back to the clear and now we're gonna cap that whole nail. Don't worry, it's not gonna cover it up. It's not gonna cover up your design because it is clear. So we're still gonna be able to see through this. And that's what's gonna give us that really deep dimension and really make this nail look like jewels in there. So again, following through all the way from the cuticle, 
down to the free edge, cap all of that mylar that's in there. And then we'll again give that 10 to 30 seconds just to set it into place. I'm gonna check my arch, make sure if I need to add anywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit more right through that arch area. And just feather that back. I want to make sure that I don't get my free edge too thick, so I'm just going to blend that back up into the arch. And I think we are good. So let's give that a full 60 second cure. That way it's going to cure all the way through. Okay, so at this point I've got the nails all filed out and I've moved my gel paint or my gel mixes so that I saved what I had left just in case I need to touch up anywhere, but I'm gonna use the rest of my palette for mixing my colors. So we're gonna work with Power Up, Orbit, and Fizz. So again, we had red and blue in our mixes on here. We're gonna use red and blue for our tints. So we're gonna start with our red. And you wanna use about even amounts of both but just kind of eyeball it and see what colors you're liking. Okay, so a little bit of that. Clean off my spatula before I go into my blue. And we're just gonna start to mix that and see how it turns out. If I need more red, I'll add more red. If I need some more blue, I'll add some more blue. And I I think already I can tell I'm probably going to need just a little bit more blue in there. So let's go ahead and grab some of that. And just like we were mixing before, just kind of spreading back and forth. There we go, that's looking about right. Get it all mixed in together. Okay, so this is gonna be our darkest color that we're gonna use. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of that, save some of that dark for our design. I'm gonna move that down to the next area on my palette. Clean off your, mat, or clean off your spatula. Now we're gonna go into our white. I'm going to really make sure that my spatula is clean so that I don't get any other colors into my white. Give that a little bit of a mix up. Sometimes your gel paints do separate a little bit. It's normal if they've been sitting for a while. Just give them a mix up. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my white. And I'm going to blend that in. So now we've got the same color tone, but just a little bit lighter. And that's exactly what we're going to do with the rest of our, our colors, is just keep adding white and we're going to get lighter and lighter and lighter. Alright. So we've gone from kind of that dark cranberry color to a little bit lighter really get that mixed up. I'm going to take a little bit more of that, move that down, clean off your pat, clean off your spatula, a little bit more white, and it just depends. If you want to go really light to the next layer, add a lot of white. If you just want to, just a subtle change in tint, just add a little white. looking about right. All right, let's do the same thing. Pick up a little bit of our color, move that down. So this one is going to be our final color. So this one I definitely want a lot lighter. So I'm going to pick up a significant amount of our white to mix in. So that white's going to really lighten this one up now. And you can do as many different 
layers as you want. You can go from really dark to really light and everything in between. Or you can do just one big jump from light to, from dark to light. All right, so I think we've got all four of our colors here and we're ready to do our design. Okay, so this nail, this is the one that we just did the clear on. So the clear mixed with our liquid art. This one, I can see there's a little bit of a spot over on the edge where it may have gotten filed just a little bit too much. So I am gonna take, that's why I saved a little bit of this. I am gonna take a little bit and just give it a quick touch up. But I actually, I wanna put the gel over the whole layer of the nail. This way I have kind of a base layer to do my design work on. For me, I like to have a little bit more of that smoother surface when I'm doing this design. If you want, you can just go right onto a filed surface. That's a personal preference. But because I did have that little area that I wanted to touch up, it works out perfect for me. Again, just brushing over the whole surface so it's nice and smooth. Okay, I'm just gonna give that a quick 30 second freeze and then we'll go on to our design. I'm gonna come in with our lightest color. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that and whatever kind of design you wanna do is totally up to you. I'm just gonna kind of come in, kind of at a little bit of an angle here. Just kind of give myself a little bit of a wavy line and then I'm gonna blend that out. Okay, just a little bit too much on my brush. Just blend that out through the rest of the nail. I want to make sure that it's not too thick on the end because I'm going to add other layers on top of this. And I'm going to pick up just a little bit more and just kind of touch up that line. Just give myself a little bit of little texture to that line, little dimension. I'm gonna go back into the light. This one, I'm just gonna give it a quick 10 second freeze. I'm gonna move on to my next layer and it's gonna to continue to cure all the way through as I do layer by layer. I'm gonna clean out that little bit of product that was in my brush. I'm gonna move on to my next darker color. I'm just kind of follow that same pattern. And again, just blend out and feather that product down. Make sure that I'm getting my edges. And again, back into our light. Again, you guys, this is something where if you're doing a design on both hands, definitely work on one hand while you've got the other in the light. Otherwise, it's gonna, be, it's gonna feel like a lot of just waiting. But if you're going back and forth and back and forth, it's gonna be much easier. And another thing, if you have two lights on your table, that's gonna make your life even, even easier. So highly recommend two lights, but one will work if you only have one. Okay, again, clean out that color out of my brush. Go into my next darker color. Again, following that same kind of pattern line, or if you wanna change it up as you're going, you can change it up. Blend it out. Go ahead and put that back in for 10 seconds. And then we'll go to our last color, our darkest color. Now on this one, I wanna make sure that I get good even coverage on the end because this is gonna be our final color. So if you feel like one coat doesn't quite cover what you need it to cover, go ahead and cure this for the 10 seconds and then add a little bit more on there. All right, we're gonna go in for 10. So to do our top coat, on this nail, I wanna add one coat of our protein bond. That's gonna help us give that really good high shine and get that really good dimension. You can already kind of start to see that mylar popping out underneath. Okay, so I'm gonna use our manicure top coat over this. I really like how the manicure top gets really, really super shiny, and I like how it works over the Mission Control gel paints. So we're gonna go one coat over the top of both of these. 
We're gonna put that into the light for 60 seconds. That's gonna cure everything all the way through. And then when we do bring that out of the light, it is gonna have that tacky surface. So we're gonna to have to wipe that with Mani-Q Cleanse to clean that off. And then our nails will be set. So one final cure of 60 seconds and we're good to go. We're gonna use our Mani-Q Cleanse, clean off that tacky surface layer. Right, so we've got some beautiful nails here. I'm gonna finish up the set and hopefully all of these different techniques will help you get inspired and try some new tinting. Yo, what are you still doing here? Don't hang out here, go watch more of our videos. We've got a thousand nail videos, lots of them of me, which is what you should be doing right now. Head over and watch more videos.